hi guys what's up it's your boy crypto marco yet again with another awesome video on the topic of cryptocurrencies in today coins to hold long term my diversification strategy i'll show you how i diversify my my portfolio what some coins are that i have invested in and that i would like to invest in in the future that i'm currently just looking at uh, waiting for a buying opportunity but just keep in mind that this is only my personal opinion and not financial advice so if you enjoy the video make sure to leave it a thumbs up otherwise comment down below because among everybody commenting i'm giving away a small amount of a litecoin all you have to do is leave some feedback or a comment and you'll participate in this giveaway so good luck and uh, before we get started let's just take a look at the coin market cap because as you can see there's a lot going on right now like always um yesterday we saw a higher market capitalization than we do now um so it used to be 780 billion currently we're a little bit down and bitcoin dominance actually is dramatically low so you can see that a lot of money is going into the altcoins <clears throat> and as you can see currently many coins are up but many coins are on a discount so if you want to get in some of these coins now might be a good opportunity um stellar a fantastic coin similar to ripple but only not for banks more for uh, smaller businesses power ledger decentralized energy distribution from australia um a startup i myself have invested in just like cardano and we see red coin is still up there and that's something that's to me kind of interesting because i thought that after the pump of john mcafee red coin would be gone but actually red coin is still up there um 10x is also on a discount and i have to say that there's not a lot of stuff happening with 10x but i think 10x is a great project with a lot of potential just like steam and obviously ripple so people right now um are fomoing hard when they see ripple oh my god look at ripple only going up but as you can see <clears throat> now i think is a good moment to get into ripple but this is only my subjective point of view and not financial advice so keep that in mind and now let's get into the coins i have a little cold so i might talk a bit slower today and drink more water um here and there so if i'm too slow for you just uh adjust the speed a little bit higher so what are the coins and why is it so important to diversify basically when you're investing in cryptocurrencies um you might put all your money on one cryptocurrency and you might make a profit um right now we're seeing profits left and right so all cryptocurrencies are going up currently but the problem is that if you put everything into one basket could go wrong but could go right so kind of a 50 50 chance and you're not sure what's happening so you have to put your coin put your hard-earned money into different strategies into different technologies into different um concepts into different i don't know ideas into different teams because everybody who went to college who had something similar to economy knows the portfolio theory that you can in theory um, avoid all systematic risks just by diversifying your portfolio and this will be a wild mix of different coins from all different uh, teams and industries but i wanted to introduce you one by one to these coins because i think if you want to diversify <laughs> it's going to be hard to have a portfolio this diverse so the first one is going to be geocoin and a coin that is in my opinion very interesting because it uses something called not proof of stake not proof of work but proof of location so i actually do have the geocoin application on my phone 
So whenever I'm out and I have my phone in my hand, I try to remember myself, hey Marco, whip out your phone, do the geocoin, because just by visiting a certain location, you can get geocoins. So it's limited, the supply of geocoin is limited to the surface of the earth. Um, and as you can see, geocoin really took off like <coughs> just all of a sudden, like only a few days ago, it was a 262 and then peaked at how much? Peaked at $36, what the hell? Where did that came from? Basically, the um, website of geocoin, I must say, <coughs> it's bad. Like, it's nothing really interesting. Like, it doesn't explain geocoin a lot. But what I think is awesome about geocoin is the concept of geocoin. Now, imagine... Um, a mobile gaming company such as uh, the Pokemon Go company or whatever um, uses the blockchain to financially reward people walking around or for example a fitness brand developing a system where you get money just by running around I think that um, Geocoin itself <clears throat> is not the most interesting coin I think the concept behind Geocoin is just amazing and that's why it should be in this portfolio so the next one i'm going to introduce to you is publica basically um you know that amazon distributes is is um <clears throat> is responsible for the distribution of many books out there in publishing houses too but the problem is that they don't know how much they're getting it's kind of not transparent and um the creative publishers or music, music, musicians, for example, don't really aren't really sure if they are getting the money they have earned. So what Publica is doing, Publica is basically allowing um, writers or just creative workers to publish whatever they own. So whatever is their creative work to publish it on the blockchain. And when you're talking about a dashing concept, I think that Publica is definitely out there. Um, when you're investing into cryptocurrencies, you definitely also have to invest in currencies that are just providing the world with value. And I think that Publica is one of those coins that could revolutionize the publishing, publishing world as we know it, because even though most people are only if you're watching this, you're probably only watching, uh, you know, you're probably watching a lot of YouTube videos. But keep in mind that the book industry is still big and there is there is a lot of money to be made. And if word spreads that there is a solution for authors to publish their books on a blockchain and know exactly how much they earn, know exactly how much they sold, I think that Publica might be a great investment and as you can see 24 cents only like 10 15 days ago and today it uh, went up to 234 and currently you might have a good investment opportunity for publica as you can see rank 312 so publica is definitely under under the radar of most youtubers out there who are making videos on blockchain and cryptocurrencies next one is gonna be the Sia coin. Now, Sia coin uh, recently got a lot of attention because what Sia coin does, it's enabling you to store coins on the blockchain. I mean, to store data on the blockchain <clears throat> in a decentralized way. So third parties are not able to access them. And the best thing is that it's a lot cheaper than most other uh, hosting uh, services such as Dr Cl cloud hosting services such as, such as Dropbox or Amazon. And as you can see, um, immense development, 0 0.003 cents in October, and now we're up to 4 cents. So amazing what Sia Coin has done, currently ranked 33. And uh, if Sia Coin continues like that, as you can see, they might be a real threat to Amazon, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. Um, the only problem I see here is uh, will Sia Coin actually have the same speed as those other uh, cloud storage uh, websites? 
we'll have to see but something i really like a lot about sia coin is that as i said earlier governments and third parties are not able to access your data not even see a coin themselves because it's really a peer-to-peer -peer network and only you can access them and i think that's amazing um, and i think that electronium is amazing so electronium um electronium is a difficult coin because electronium a friend of mine bought uh, electronium for 0.01 cents at the ico so now he 11 folded his money uh, congratulations on that my friend but basically uh, electronium was off to a great start um, peaked at 21 cents and then went down because people had issues with uh, electronium were not able to access their um, wallet and as you can see this is where the um, issue with the wallet got uh, resolved many people from the ico sold and that's why all of a sudden the price dropped so i think that right now we're seeing a good buying up like mm, even though 37 percent um uh, increase i think that right now you're still having a great buying opportunity because electronium is a, an amazing idea so basically you know that you have your cell phone at home you have your console at home <clears throat> and let's be honest they're not doing a lot so all of this uh, computing power outside that is not being used um electronium wants to hold on to that computing power and actually put that to use so you can use your um, cell phone or your console to um mine cryptocurrencies and i think that um there's so much computing power out there on cell phones and on consoles that sia coin uh, i mean that electronium is on to something really great and currently might be a good buying opportunity <coughs> next one is going to be substratum sitting on rank 82 substratum wasn't doing a lot for a while um basically disclaimer i have invested in substratum i think somewhere here or here now nah, probably somewhere around here at 32 cents um basically seeing this development with substratum is just it's just a great thing and uh, one thing you have to know about substratum is that it has a great team and a great U uh, youtube page very detailed um you're always staying on top of things and substratum basically tries to put the internet on a blockchain so decentralize the internet so governments are not able anymore to um to um censor certain stuff off the internet so currently they if the chinese government chooses so to do so they can just go up to GoDaddy or namecheap and be like hey you know what fuck substratum we don't like them uh, or uh, i don't know like fuck cryptomarco.com we don't like him uh, erase that website if i would host my website on substratum i wouldn't have to worry because substratum is a peer-to-peer -peer system and as a government they can't access it and that's why i think that substratum stands for uh freedom of speech and fighting censorship so if you're investing in substratum you're investing into a f world that's much more free and i think that that's amazing um carbon hood carbon hood interesting because right now you have a great buying opportunity in my opinion even though we are past uh we, we we're not at the peak right now and it's kind of increased <clears throat> basically carbon hood tries to tackle all the problems that other cryptocurrency exchanges have uh, so basically carbon hood is a zero trading fee uh cryptocurrency exchange with uh 24 hour support um you have a premium service you have legal assistance if you want to do an ico so um and you have a lot of languages um well not on the website but in the in the exchange um and you have all sorts of different cryptocurrencies and um fiat currencies out there currencies like the new hong kong dollar for example so very exotic currencies and uh, you can see that this is just a demo but uh cob carbon carbon hood is already up and running and i think that um exchanges out there just need a lot more competition because there's 
so much money being pumped into cryptocurrencies that uh, the exchanges just can allow themselves to get really lazy and I don't think that that's cool so Cabin Hood you have to be good competition for all the other exchanges out there <clears throat> next one is going to be first blood um first blood as you can see currently could be a good buying opportunity first blood is sitting at rank 146 not doing a lot um basically first blood is a wants to bring the blockchain and cryptocurrencies to more to gaming um the next game they want to do is dota 2 and um something that i found interesting was maybe i can find it while speaking uh, is that uh, you, as you know the gaming market is huge and to, <coughs> sorry guys i need to i need to drink real quick so as you know the gaming market is huge and you want to always invest into things that are just help people out there so what first blood tries to do is just to improve the <coughs> experience that people gamers out there have so you can become a uh, sort of um, judge and uh, ban cheaters ban toxic players and get money for that you can also host your own tournaments with integrated smart contracts where um, before the tournament has started everybody knows how much you need to pay to participate and how much gets the first uh, place gets the second place the third place and so on so uh, when it comes to gaming and the blockchain i think that first blood is one of the most interesting coins out there and because the gaming industry will become huge in the next few years i think that first blood is onto something next one is going to be ethereum so now we're getting to the classics uh so all of these coins were kind of exotic um but in this <coughs> in this portfolio it's all about being a uh, long-term investing and uh, investing into coins that have still a lot of potential to develop so ethereum although the transactions per second right now aren't that high I think Vitalik Buterin already has a solution for that up his sleeve and that the smart contracts are an amazing tool that many cryptocurrencies out there already use. Cardano, of course, the Japanese Ethereum killer from um, Charles Hoskins on ex-CEO of Cardano. Amazing academic team also working with smart contracts. And as you can see, Cardano, also a coin I have invested in. Uh, <coughs> I think somewhere here so Cardano is just amazing and I think it will get more amazing because Charles Hoskinson really tries to tackle all the problems that coins out there have in a very balanced and kind of uh, Buddha kind of way so just the fact that uh, Charles Hoskinson is with Cardano I think makes Cardano very interesting a very interesting pick and Monero Monero the one of the top privacy coins out there if you want privacy you basically want monero and as you can see monero in the last three months has developed pretty nicely from 92 dollars up to 398 um monero okay i don't have to sneeze so monero um i recommend the monero wikipedia page because there you can see a lot of interesting stuff on how monero tries to solve the privacy issue with bitcoin so as you know bitcoin addresses are very trackable traceable you can trace the path of where addresses send money and because it's a public blockchain but um monero is using so-called stealth addresses and ring signatures so things you should really check out because privacy uh, as john McAfee said privacy is going to be very important in cryptocurrencies and i think that if you're talking about privacy in cryptocurrencies you're talking about monero and i think that monero still has a lot of potential to go up <clears throat> so guys this was these were just a few examples of how you could diversify your portfolio basically if you enjoyed the video make sure to thumbs up in any case thank you for your attention also comment down below with your litecoin address um if you have anything to say
because then you're going to participate in my giveaway. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload something and also share this video with friends and families. Now, what I'm going to do is do the giveaway I do in every video because as you know, guys, <clears throat> I was in Lisbon, Portugal for New Year's Eve and I was not able to do giveaways, but now I'm back and now I want to do what I promised and um, do the giveaways. So whatever your name is, my friend, congratulations. This is your honest win. God bless you. Thank you very much for your comment. And the next winner is going to be... Thanks for a great video and wish you a happy new year. Thank you so much, my friend. But unfortunately, you did not provide me with a Litecoin address. So I have to pick another one. <clears throat> this was my Ripple video. So let's see who's going to be the winner. Check your inbox. I will. But man, I need, I need a Litecoin address. What is this? Guys, you're really nice, but uh, I need a Litecoin address. And I think I say it in every video, leave a Litecoin address at the end of your comments so you can participate in the raffle and I can send it to you. I can't believe this. This is must be a record of people commenting and su being supposed to win and not getting anything. Finally, Crypto Gee, I don't think XRP will reach $8 in 2018. Who knows? Who knows? Me and my friend were talking that it might happen that XRP will overcome Bitcoin. You have to be ready for a paradigm shift because when it comes to technology, currently crypto, uh, Bitcoin is definitely behind. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you a lot of success and um, yes, I see you until next time. Bye bye.